Hello, and welcome to another Icon 7 Academy tutorial. Today's topic will be Advanced Morphing Animation. In part 1, we created the morph targets. In part 2, we'll go ahead and animate them. So let's get going. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into anim our animation workspace. I'm going to press Ctrl 3 to do so. Or you can go over here to Windows, Workspace, and go to Animation. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically, I'm going to zoom out here and make sure that by the end of our animation there, I'm going to go ahead and put the marker about there so that it ends the animation ends there so so good all right so here's the full animation there um i will go ahead also and uh just remove the camera animation right now because uh, right now this is not the camera is not uh our main focus here so let's go ahead and select the camera And select both cameras and remove animation for this particular one. So remove objects animation and select this guy and remove objects animation. So so the camera is not moving and we can really see the morph happening. All right, so let's go ahead to go to the beginning of the animation. I'm going to turn off the play bar so we have more real estate here since we can scrub through here anyway. And um, let's go ahead and uh, now that we are at the beginning of the animation, I'm going to select him and going to select his morph track and open that up. Okay. And notice now that we have uh, a belly one, belly two and chest. So what we're going to do is as, as he inhales, we are going to Okay, so from this point on, we're going to set a keyframe there. So he's going to start regular there. And uh, let's go ahead, go to Modify tab, Animation. And then down here, we're going to go to Morph Animator. This will open up our shapes. And here's where we start keyframing stuff. So I am going to go ahead and create a default key right now. In there so notice it creates a key over there in the timeline next as z as he inhales air we are going to make the chest and the belly get bigger like so and then as he moves forward he will exhale. So we are going to take the morph out from the belly and the chest. And then we are going to bring in the air coming out of the belly. And then we'll bring it back to default. Like so. So now if we go to the beginning and play this, <gasps> there you go. So now we can also animate as he breathes heavy, heavily by, by puffing up the chest and the belly and going in and out. So to do so, I'm going to just go ahead and bring in another scene that has been a, a little bit more completed. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go control two for my regular uh, working space here. Go to the beginning of the animation. And I am going to go ahead and uh, just load the more uh, elaborate version of that animation. Actually, it's over here. Okay, so we are back. And I'm gonna go ahead and play back this animation. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna show you in the timeline uh, how he looks with all the extra keyframes and so forth. So let's go to uh, Control Three to go back to my animation tab, and I'm gonna open up the uh, morph, not the motion, but the morphs 
the morph track for the character. Okay, so notice I have quite a few more keyframes. So if I play this back, so he blows the bla the uh, bl away the flag, and then he breathes very heavily, and the jaw was animated and so forth. But that's not really that important. Okay, so great. So what do we have here? So uh, we animated those morphs over time. Notice as uh, he inhales, he buffs up his chest and belly, and he exhales, the stomach goes all the way in, and then he starts breathing heavily. All right, one thing I would like to do, however, is notice the hair is very, very stiff right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some morph targets for the hair. So how was this done? Well, let's take a look. All right, I am going to go ahead and send this character into Morph Creator. So let's go to animation, the animation tab, and then send the character into Morph Creator. All right, so let's go into Morph Creator. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and replace that. Next, I'm going to select the hair but not at the hair level, but at group two level. That's where the mesh is. And then I'm gonna add the morphs. Now the morphs are done just like the belly. So basically the spiky hair is pulled, basically what we're doing is pulling the spiky hair backwards and forwards. That's the neutral position right there. And uh, so let's go ahead and load those morph targets. So I'm going to click on plus here, select the hair backwards first, okay, and then add the next one, since there's only one slider, we can go ahead and just add the next one for forward, and click okay. Now let's go, uh, go ahead and test it out. So backwards, see, it pulls the hair backwards. And then forward, it, it pushes the hair forward. All right, that looks good. Next, what we gotta do is just update the morph to iClone. So we're sending that morph back to iClone. So we added the morph in there. So let's play this back and you will notice that nothing really changed. We still have the belly morph and the chest and the going in the belly stuff. So, and the mouth moving around. So everything looks normal. So now let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and select the hair this time. And uh, let's open the morph track for the hair. And you will see that our two morphs now are there. Let's, let's open up the morph animator. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start moving around the sliders so to time it so that the hair moves around when he moves. So he starts moving a little bit forward. So as he moves forward, let's have the hair move back a little bit, not too much. Pull back a little bit. And then as he as he stops and, and leans back a little bit to the neutral position, we'll go ahead and uh, leave the hair back to normal. So basically it's nothing, nothing drastic. Now as, it, as, the, as he pulls back at this point, let's see there, Let's add another default key there. And then what I'm going to do is I will go ahead as a, he moves, does this motion backwards. His hair is going to move forward until he stops about there. Uh, maybe a little sooner, about there maybe. So hair will move forward as he moves backwards. So that looks natural. Now as, as he slows down, the hair will go back to default and then it will keep on moving because of the momentum backwards. And then he will keep it backwards. Then, then he will go back to normal again. So let's add that key over there back to normal. And then as he 
accelerates forward, we'll move the hair backwards again. So let's let's go ahead and uh, about here he would he creates the most momentum there as the fastest point in his animation. His hair will be pulling backwards like so. And then as he stops about here, he will go back to normal and it will create a secondary motion of the hair moving forward as a follow through. And then back to normal again. So let's go back and zero it out. So let's go ahead and play that. So let's play that. Okay. And whew, there you go. And you can keep on animating this as you choose, as you as you will, just to fine tune it. Of course, we'll move a little bit, have it give it a little bit of motion, and you're done. Okay. So that's basically it. That's all you have to do. Uh, one thing I would like to show you guys is also, well, let's let's select our character over here and go to the uh, Morph tab here. So let's make sure that he is selected there. And uh, I'm going to select the Morph here, Morph Animator. One thing I want to show you is that it is possible, if you have to, you can actually uh, remove... Uh, morphs from the animation however it is uh, suggested that you do it using this tool over here now notice the keyframes here okay I want to I want you guys to be aware of what's going on here so notice the keys over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete the chest and um, from the the chest track over here uh, will be removed do you want to continue and you want to say yes okay so basically now you still have the animation there the in and the out but the chest animation is gone and that is working correctly However, what you don't want to do is uh, delete the animation inside Morph Creator because this will create an issue and I will show you here in a second. Let me just bring this uh, animation over here. Over there, like that. Hold on. Okay. So, notice that if you take a morph track or a morph and you send it to morph creator and you delete one of the morphs and then you update what's going to happen is the keys from keyframe a are going to remain even though you delete it morph a and morph b is going to inherit those keyframes instead of keeping the keyframes that you originally gave it to. So um, it is it is important to when you're deleting morph uh, from your animation that you do it within iClone and not within uh, uh, Morph Creator. Okay. So this will go ahead and conclude our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next one. Until then, have a great night.